Welcome back, everybody. The caponata. We have the main components that are zucchini, eggplant, and onion that I've cooked a little bit together and create all these beautiful flavors in the bottom of the pan that we call Fekker Yum Yums. That's registered, by the way. So next, I add the breast of chicken. I remove those. I add the breast of chicken in that same pan. Look at all those brown. See that olive oil that has been released from those eggplants that we're cooking? Now we're going to turn the chicken on this side. The other side is completely raw. So we allow the cooking process to start on the other side. A little bit of capers. Then we're going to add a little bit of olives here. Kalamatas and Sicilian uh, greens are mixed together. You don't have to. You use what you have at home. Don't forget the recipe is nothing but a guideline. You can use your ingredients as you wish. Also, what we're going to use a little bit of chopped Roma tomatoes. I always, always, not always, but 90% of the time, cook with Romas. I love the fact that they have a lot of flesh, very little seed, and very low acidity. Why? Because the skin is so much th thinner, and the acidity of the tomato comes from its skin. A quick toss, and now you see all this steam that's going everywhere. What is that steam for? That is the releasing of the water content of the tomato turning into steam. We're going to use that steam. We're not going to get it rid of it. A little bit of sea salt. At the beginning, you notice I added a dash of salt to our eggplant and zucchini, not for seasoning, for a chemical reaction. So that chemical reaction helps pull out the water content of those ingredients. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to have these beautiful zucchinis and eggplants go back into the party. Now, notice something. I covered the complete, the chicken is completely covered. Why is that? As those ingredients start rewarming again, they release their more water content and it goes right into the chicken. It's all done in one pan and it's all done. Why? Because we want to bring all those flavors together and I want it to be easier for you. I don't want you to worry about cleaning 10 different pans just to cook one dish. Of course, I can do one of those for you if you want. Then you're going to go say, Fekker never thinks about us. A little bit of basil and Italian parsley combined, chopped, put it on top. And we have some tomato sauce that's going to go right over there. Now, everybody, please, at home, remember this. If you do not have tomato sauce, you do not want to go uh, on ilmito.com, download my tomato sauce, or on foxisnow.com. That is fine, but at least don't buy one of those things out of a jar. Why am I saying that? Because I want you to just to get a can of regular diced tomatoes, blend them, there's your tomato sauce. That has much more of a pure flavor profile than something that's coming already out of a jar with its own flavor. I want the flavors to be yours. Ownership is everything in cooking. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to place the asparagus right here on top. And we have five of them because I always say the topography of the plate has everything to do with it. Like Tony tries to, uh, from Real Milwaukee tries to imitate me. Topography, topography. Huh? Some peas. It's all done right here for you. We're going to put the lid on this and allow the steam do its magic. When we come back, this is going to be ready. I'm going to serve it, and I'm going to put the peperonata as a canvas in the bottom, the beautiful chicken on top, and some starch, which is potatoes that are roasting in the oven for you, all together. Can you imagine this just with a little bit of eggs and the chicken sliced as a frittata or an omelet in the morning with a beautiful Bloody Mary next to you? You know what? Don't take my word for it. Come on in and taste it. I'll see you at Il Mito. Now, Derica, darling. I'm Are in. Are you ready? That sounds great. I am in. On to some more tasty creations. It seems like it's the people's.